Good afternoon. Uh, I'm Blake Scholl, founder and CEO at Boom Supersonic. Uh, for me, and I imagine for many of you, this was our last event before the world shut down with COVID. And boy, did we have a, a couple of incredibly challenging years. Not only as an industry did we have to live through one of the most challenging downturns in travel since the Wright brothers, uh, but the world told us that we didn't need this industry. The future was gonna be not boom, but more Zoom. If we could do things over video conference, why would we need to travel? Uh, travel was not gonna come back, it was not going to recover. It might take a very long time before we ever saw more in-person interaction, not just for personal purposes, but also for you know, corporate and business purposes. But the pundits, boy were they wrong. And it is such an exciting time now that we've had travel roaring back. Uh, over Labor Day weekend, we now had uh, half a million more passengers in the U.S. than we had in 2019. And I think the entire, less, uh, entire world has now been learning the lesson of the importance of face-to-face -face human interaction, the importance of being there in the same room, whether we're talking about seeing a loved one or connecting with one of the incredible cultural experiences that our planet has to offer, or doing business. It's amazing we got deals done over Zoom at all, but now everyone wants to travel again, and we're seeing that period of growth. So, but aside from viruses and pandemics, what holds us back? What keeps us at home instead of experiencing the people and places our planet has to offer? Well, that number one barrier, that number one barrier to travel is speed the time it takes to cross oceans and to be there in the same room. So uh, I'd like to update everybody on the progress we've made towards a faster future since the last time we were gathered here in the same room. Earlier this year at the Farnborough Air Show, we unveiled the final production design of our Overture supersonic airliner. I'd like to invite all of you to take a look. It's about time. Time to turn the past into the present. Time to create the world's fastest airliner, optimized for speed, safety, and sustainability. Time to make flying, flying. Meet the refined design. Overture, sculpted for speed and safety engineered for a sustainable future. It's about time to enter a new era of supersonic travel. Time to turn the future into the present. It's about time. Boom, supersonic. Thank you. Physics doesn't really let us make an ugly supersonic jet. So that's, that's Overture. That's the supersonic airliner that we believe will be the first mainstream practical supersonic airliner, something that we think tens of millions of people are going to benefit from every year, and I hope to have all of you uh, benefiting from it as well. And our goal with Overture is to make the world dramatically more accessible, to enable more travel, more human connection, by building flights that are faster, ultimately more affordable, more convenient, and dramatically more sustainable than what we have today. So in the last couple of years, we got our first order with a firm deposit from United Airlines, signing up for 15 Overture airplanes, compared to only 14 Concords that ever entered service. And just a couple months ago, uh, United was joined by American, and now we have 130 Overture airplanes in orders and pre-orders just from three airlines, we're just getting started. That's about 10 times more than Concorde that ever entered service. Additionally, we've been building the team that is going to build this airplane and produce it at scale. Uh, Collins, Eaton, and Safran are all part of the production team for Overture. And later this year, we're gonna be announcing our engine partner for Overture as well. 
additionally, we've been working with the US Air Force actually for a little while on bringing the capability of speed to get key people where they need to be when time is of the essence. And having watched what's unfolding in Ukraine this year, this could not matter more. The ability to get our leaders in front of our allies. How many allies can we see a day, uh, in a day, when the, that influence, that in-person influence really matters? And additionally, we've now teamed with Northrop Grumman to bring Overture as a platform for even more defense applications. So imagine the ability to evacuate a wounded soldier to life-saving medical care. Imagine the ability to get a special forces team anywhere in the planet in just a few hours to respond to a crisis. Imagine a command and control aircraft that could actually outrun an F-35. This and more is the uh, capabilities that we are energized together with Northrop uh, to deliver to the US and allied militaries around the world. Production, we're just about two years away from producing the airplane. In January, we announced Greensboro, North Carolina as the super factory location for Overture. And we're breaking ground on that factory uh, by the end of the year. Now, speed is great. It's great for passengers. It's great for airlines. But we also have a great burden of responsibility to make sure that what we're doing is also great for the planet. And so we want to enable speed, safety, and sustainability without compromise. How do we do that? Well, we are designing Overture to be the first airplane to be 100% compatible with sustainable aviation fuel without requiring blends and drop-ins. And this is, this is the future not just for Overture. I believe this is the future for all of long-haul aviation. And we are excited to be out there to be first to help scale this. And we are uh, especially thrilled with the progress that we now have in um, supporting sustainable aviation fuel the same way that wind and solar were supported in the early days with the Blender's tax credit for sustainable aviation fuel that was uh, in the Bipartisan Inflation Reduction Act. Huge progress there, more to come. So that's Overture. Let's talk about what it's going to do for all of us. Rel compared to Concorde, which is really practical only on a couple of routes, Overture is designed to give air, uh, passengers breakthroughs in travel times on hundreds of routes of uh, around the planet where airlines also have enough demand to fill the seats and earn profits. So think not just New York to London, but what happens when Sydney, Australia is as accessible as Honolulu is today. What happens when we can cross the Pacific as easily as we would cross the Atlantic today? Where would you choose to go to vacation? Where would you choose to open an office? Even who could you choose to fall in love with? So that is our biggest mission here, to break down the barriers to ex uh, accessing the planet, to enable speed, affordability, convenience, and sustainability. And while Overture One focuses just on uh, business class kind of travel and business class kind of economics. Our ultimate goal is to make high speed flight affordable for anybody who flies. So the fastest flight can also be the most economical. Thank you all very much and I look forward to welcoming you aboard. <laughs>